Pamela Anderson is in her makeup free era. This is a new chapter of my life. The Baywatch alum, CJ Parker, who became famous for her blonde bombshell looks, is trading in her trademark 90s glam, ready to embrace something entirely new. The 90s was the 90s, and now it's 2023. I don't know, I like to do things that are different. With the release of her memoir, Love Pamela. I mean, the book is just my feelings about everything. And the Netflix documentary, Pamela, A Love Story, directed by her son, Brandon. I want to take control of the narrative for the first time. This feels like kind of a surreal, divine timing, redemptive feeling. It just feels surreal. Pam's not only taken control of her narrative, but her natural beauty too. The star's been spotted at lots of events, donning a very much less done up look. So I let my hair dry naturally, then I just put on some moisturizer because I am not into the makeup look right now. As for why she's taken a new approach to her beauty routine, there was someone behind the scenes who helped craft her iconic look, makeup artist Alexis Vogel, Pam's decades-long go-to glam expert. Well, we've been together for over 20 years. She shot some of the first Playboy covers and a lot of my Playboy stuff and a lot of the really big bombshell, everything. When Alexis died after a battle with breast cancer in 2019, for Pamela, it sadly marked the end of an era. As she explained to Elle, Alexis was the best, and since then, I just felt without Alexis, it's just better for me not to wear makeup. Our, our makeup artists have done my makeup and, you know, just something just doesn't quite go right. As for her new minimalist aesthetic, Pamela calls it freeing and fun and a little rebellious too. See, va va boom, there she goes. You know, my mom always told me at some point in your life, you're not gonna wanna wear makeup on your skin. And she's right. Check out the 56 year old going for a completely fresh faced appearance at Netflix's 5C event for her doc. I'm doing things that I always wanted to do. So I always tell my kids that's what success is, is doing the things you love. To see the reception for her life story is incredible. It's very gratifying. You know, it's, this is the woman that me and my brother have known for you know, 20, life, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, our, our whole lives, and it's kind of great to, to have the world get to know her for the first time. And in September, the mom of two attended Pandora's lab-grown Diamond District launch event in NYC. I don't know, I, no, I know. Okay, natural beauty still takes uh, two hours in front of a mirror. You kind of have to uh, challenge beauty sometimes, you know, if we all chase youth or we're chasing our idea of what beauty is in fashion magazines and everything, we're only gonna be disappointed or maybe a little bit sad. Pam also rocked a bare face at the Fashion Awards in London. And the Fashion Media Awards in the Big Apple, where she was honored with the style icon title. I don't need a stylist. Like, I don't have a stylist. I don't have a glam team. I'm just kind of doing this freestyle. But the moment that had everyone talking, Pamela at Paris Fashion Week. I didn't come to Paris Fashion Week and think, oh, I'm not gonna wear any makeup. I just thought, I don't know, something just kind of came over me and I was dressing in these beautiful clothes and I thought, I don't wanna compete with the clothes. I'm not trying to be the prettiest girl in the room. I feel like oh, it's just freedom, it's like a relief. But she said the idea to forego glam at the high profile shows still made her a little nervous, at least when it came to public opinion. Sometimes like I feel, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? And I I don't know, and then I think, what, what am I worried about? Like I. Am I worrying about what people think, how I look? And I thought, you know, this is this is the time for me to kind of be, again, probably a little rebellious. We need to reawaken something. Pam also opened up about feeling a responsibility to lead by example. But I also feel as a woman, and as a woman my age, and a woman in the public eye, I just kind of think it's also your job to be a um, model of um, everything, just all sorts of choices. So I'm just being me, you know, kind of my who I am, in all these great clothes running around Paris. And she did exactly that, receiving praise from the likes of Jamie Lee Curtis, who declared the natural beauty revolution has officially begun. This woman showed up and claimed her seat at the table with nothing on her face. I'm so impressed and floored by this act. Well, it's very, very touching. Scarlett Johansson also weighed in, calling the move a powerful message for women. I think I'm happiest I've ever been in my own skin. It's what's inside the clothes that counts, and I think beauty does come from within, and, and I, I know it sounds cliche, but I love cliches. I'm so corny.